don't need to be doing this. Really, I'm fine. Uh, your ankle's too swollen. I don't think you should walk on it. No, it's... Uh, it's all right. I'm fine. You sure? Yeah. Uh, I just can't believe I was such a klutz. Well, look, you're not a klutz. I mean, I get my foot caught in a stirrup a lot of times. <laughs> Thanks for trying, but I am a klutz. Uh, well, how's it feel? All right. You sure? Mm-hmm. Um, look. <laughs> you planning to hop around on uh, one foot the rest of the day? I can walk on it. <clears throat> oh. Whoever said money can't buy everything? I wasn't thinking in large enough amounts. <laughs> Been embezzling from old CeCe's account, have we? No, actually, uh... Modern technology never ceases to amaze me. I wouldn't get too greedy if I were you. You know, the last thing you need right now is your meal ticket getting suspicious of this dwindling bank account. No, oh, Cece will never notice the dinky amounts I'm skimming on. There's nothing like a crisp new bill. Nothing. Almost nothing. Hmm. It's like having my own personal automatic money machine. Courtesy of CC Capital's Bank and Trust. <laughs> Victoria's hospital, Bill. How did you get your hands on this? Never mind where I got it. Cece, you didn't have someone go to the hospital and go into the wreck. Now look, you asked me to investigate, and I did. Now just leave it at that. Now take a look at it, will you please? want to take any acting job. I don't give a damn about her acting career. So this is a secret? Do you think this is a secret and this is the white reason she came back to Santa Barbara to stay out of the limelight, away from the press? Evidently she wants to be near someone or something. Namely, the baby's father. <laughs> what is this? This is Aphenocopteridae, better known as the flamingo. I think this particular bird is of the Plasticus lawn ornamentus variety. <laughs> yes, I know it's the flamingo. Well, I was looking for a stork, but there were none to be obtained, so this will have to do. Thank you. Where on earth did you find this? I liberated this particular fowl from some residential acreage. You stole it off of somebody's lawn? Don't ask. Ma, you have been busy. Did you have uh, time to stop at the police station last night? I beg your pardon? Well, after you, after you left, I noticed uh, a couple of patrol cars going by every five minutes. You didn't have anything to do with that, did you? Well, I figured that since you had been broken into, you could use a little bit of extra security. I, I hope it didn't upset you. No, not at all. It was nice having somebody look after me. Thanks. Uh, you want to have some breakfast? Oh, no. I, I just stopped by to um, give you the bird. <laughs> but no trouble. I was, I was fixing myself something. No, I, I, I shouldn't drop by without calling anyway. It was all right. No, I should go. No, please, come on. I want you to stay. to go to so much trouble. Well, no. Well, contrary to popular belief, I do know how to toast bread and, and plug in the coffee pot. Well, I was well aware of that after the sumptuous meal you prepared me last night. 
surprised you liked it. I Isn't did. It? I liked it a lot. <clears throat> I'm glad you stopped by, too. You know, I was starting to get a little bit lonely. But you and uh, your little friend have made me much more cheerful. Oh, the flamingo. Yeah, well, then our mission is accomplished. Yeah. Um, I'm hope I'm not keeping you from work or anything. No, no. Since being relieved of the mantle of D.A., I seem to have quite a lot of time on my hands. Then I can't think of a more pleasant way to spend it. You need cream for your coffee? N no. <laughs> Did uh, you ever find your hospital bill? I thought maybe the burglar had just tossed it aside in the search. No, no. Um, I was looking for it last night, but it was gone. I find it... Less strange that someone would break in and steal nothing than come in and steal your bills. Well, I wish I'd stolen all of them. So what did you do last night, after I left? Oh, last night, um... I thought I put in some music and I caught up on some reading. What did you do? You left early. Yeah, I, uh... I went for a walk on the beach. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was a lovely night. I stood out on the, on the terrace for a while. There's so many stars. Must have been nice at the beach. Yeah, it was. I uh, did a lot of thinking. Mostly about you. Yeah, yeah, I thought about you a lot, too. I guess I, I realized that I had been getting caught up in your whirlwind of charms. Mason, you're the nicest man I've ever met, you know, and I, I cooked dinner for you, and I, and I kissed you. And I realized how selfish I was being. Selfish? Yeah, I was acting as if I didn't have any obligations. You know, I was lying to myself. But Mason, I'm going to have another man's baby. I have no right to even think of having a relationship with you. You shouldn't get involved with me. Victoria, what I should or shouldn't do is my decision to make. Do you think you know who the father of Victoria's baby is? Well, I've only seen her with one uh, man lately, and she was certainly vehement in his defense the other day, wasn't she? Mason. Yes, Mason. I mean, she is the only woman he's been spending any time with. Have either of you guys seen Haley around? But can't you see that we are in a private conversation? Yeah, I'm just asking you a question. Try upstairs, then. I will. You didn't have to snap at him. Excuse me if I am on edge, but my daughter is being hunted down by the police in her own hometown. I find myself married to the gross human being of all time, and now I find out that my son has gotten a conniving fortune hunter pregnant, and you ought to know why I'm upset. Hold it, hold it. You have... No more reason to believe Victoria's motives than you do that Mason is the father. Well, it certainly was an immaculate conception. Uh, Why? What are you thinking? Cruz. Thinking about Cruz. And when he and Victoria were stranded in the lighthouse. You tell me you think that Cruz... I don't know. I'm not saying that anything happened. All I know is right after that, that Eden and Cruz split up became almost insurmountable. Oh, we, we got to find out the truth somehow. We have to. Ted and Haley found him. I think you should talk to Ted, but don't let on why you're out. I won't. I... Sophia, I won't. Don't worry about that. I just hope... Damn it, I hope it's not true. Oh. Just need and Cruz are getting it together. What is she going to do when she finds out that that baby is Cruz's? You've had to overcome a lot. But if Cruz is the father, Eden will never go back to him. How much is that? Oh, just a couple of thousand. I thought I'd buy something very expensive and hope that you noticed, but then I remembered how you feel about clothes. Get that back. Yeah, it's just, yeah. Get out I like here. that you can see through them. <laughs> but I have to admit, this is a better idea. Well, this is just the tip of the iceberg, darling. Oh, I'm going to get my hands on as many of Cece's millions as I can. I do love your greed, you know that? I love your greed. I just love it. Well, you're a little greedy yourself. Well, soup. Oh, 
<laughs> I'll show you how greedy I can be for this money. Just a second. Irene, uh, um, I have a conference and I don't want any interruptions, no phone calls. I just love to hear it when you give orders, Keith. Lie down on the desk. to wed Cornelius Parnell. I'm sorry, it must have slipped my mind. No, not that. The Masquerade Ball at the museum. Do you know about this? I know. You've always had a desire to dress up in drag. You knew about this? Of course I knew about it. Nobody in town could pull off a major charity event without the Capwell's cooperation. What's the big deal? The big deal is... is Somebody saw their fugitive daughter at the museum yesterday. So? 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 What better way for her to make contact with her parents? What are you doing? Going to the museum. Well, wait a minute. No. Somebody's not going to get away from me this time. Wait! Shower off and get out of there. What? Y you shouldn't have been in there. I mean, someone could have walked in here any minute. The museum is closed today. I found a clean towel and the shower felt great. And listen, there's another one in there. I think you'd want to use it. Yeah, well, this place may be closed, but I'm not taking a fool chance like that. Okay, suit yourself. But would you mind turning around at least so I can get dressed? Yes, yes, I would mind. Ah, oh, fine. Ask me no question. I'm you know, if you'd wanted to take a shower, you could have at least waited until I came back so I could keep a lookout. I mean, you're the one who's most in jeopardy here. So if you expect me to help you, I expect you to listen to me, okay? Kelly? Kelly. Oh, now, here's an object example. Kelly. What, you think I wouldn't dare transgress your precious modesty, eh? Yeah, well, guess again. I'm sorry, you're going to have to leave. The museum is closed today. I know that uh, no one's supposed to be. I was just trying to get things ready for the charity ball. Oh, come on. Someone else can handle that. I'm sure everyone knows how sick with worry you must be about Kelly. Huh? Might as well be doing something. Well, I take it there's been no word about her, huh? No. Not since yesterday, and, and she was spotted. And here I keep hoping that maybe she... Cece would love to see this tender picture. I'm sure you'll make something oh. out of it. 
Sophia, what are you doing here? As if I didn't know. I'm here because I am getting ready for the charity ball day after tomorrow, if it's any of your business. And I might just ask you what your little sidekick is doing here. I don't think she's ever seen this inside of a museum in her life. Actually, as Mrs. C.C. Cap, while I'm on the top of your committee's guest list. And animal shelters has always been one of my pet charities. Got a million of them. The ball is for the homeless, Gina. Well, in that case, I was thinking it might be a good idea to move maybe, oh, eight or ten of them into the guest house with you. And why are you here? Is you're her bodyguard? I'm not on official business as district attorney. You must know that there's a fugitive, a murder suspect on the loose. Don't you? He's baiting you. If you do anything to hurt my daughter... Whoa, 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 hey! It's bad form to threaten the district attorney. As a pretty lady, you must know when a man has a job to do, he has a job to do. And right now, it's my job to see that Kelly Capwell is captured. And that justice is done. Kelly? How the hell did you get in there in the first place? Do you have any idea how this thing works? I don't know how it works. I wouldn't be Well, that didn't work. Oh, You know, I could just leave you in there. Then you wouldn't get the bonus from my father, would you? Yeah, well, hang on. I'll try one more thing. Tal's still in there somewhere. Yeah, you could still be in there somewhere. I can't believe you were foolish enough to just walk into that box. Well, where else was I supposed to change with Peeping Jeffrey hanging around? Well, I wasn't watching you. That is a great hiding place if someone decides to come in here. Yeah, and how do you propose we get out? There's got to be a way out. What good would that be? Oh, maybe you can't from the inside. You know, if I hadn't have been here, you could have been locked in there forever. But I wasn't, was I? You, know, you always expect somebody to be there to bail you out, don't you? I don't expect that at all. Oh, no? Well, let's see. I've, uh, I've bailed you out at least, what, half a dozen times since we met. And I'm sure that when you've had trouble in the past, all you've had to do is run to Daddy. I don't have to run to anybody. I am perfectly capable of taking care of myself. And wait a minute. Your recollection of our journey so far is a little off. You don't remember how many times I've gotten us out of trouble. Yeah, well, you've been lucky. But let me tell you, when it comes down to it, you're going to need more than luck. And then you'll soon realize you don't have anyone to count on but yourself. All right, fine. I won't count on you. I don't mean just me. I mean anyone. Oh, well, there's a cheery thought. Thank you very much. Yeah, well, it's the truth. No, you mean it's the truth for you. Because you've got nobody but yourself, and that's the way you like it. But you don't know me. True. And you go out of your way to make it stay that way, don't you? And, Jeffrey, you're so mysterious about your past no, and people no, you know no, in your I am not trying to be mysterious, okay? It's just that it's no one's concern but my own, and certainly not yours. I thought I'd donate this portrait to the auction. The point of this auction is to make money, Jimmy, not make people laugh. I wouldn't be surprised if C.C. bid on it himself. You know, you may be right. He's always wanted to torch that thing. Listen, I want you guys to come to the ball in costume, okay? But no red, no, no gold. Oh, you got it? <laughs> yes, sir. I got a gut feeling that Kelly Campbell's going to make contact with her parents. And when she does, we're going to be there. Hello, Victoria. The charity coordinator called me to come over today. I didn't know that you were on the committee. If it's too uncomfortable, I'll leave. No, we're doing this for a very good cause. I think we should probably be able to be adult enough to put our personal differences aside. Well, 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 well. Gee willikers, if it isn't Santa Barbara's own Victoria Lane, once so anxious to get away from all us home folks, and now so happy to be living amongst us. Hello, Keith. <laughs> What's your mission this time? Don't be shy. I'm sure you came back to us with some nasty surprise. Look, I'm sorry about what happened before, but I want to talk to you. Dad, what is wrong? Did something happen with Kelly? No, no, this time it has nothing to do with Kelly. Uh, you did find, uh, Haley? <sighs> uh, no. No, which I can't figure that one out at all. Look, I know the two of you were together when you found uh, Victoria and Cruz together at the lighthouse, right? Yeah, we were. So? I want you to tell me about it. Dad, I already told you. Tell me again. 
that we found him. You know, that's the important thing. It's so long ago, I don't even remember. I don't understand what's so important. Look, I don't really care what... I don't really care what you understand right now. All I want to know is what you know about Victoria and Cruz when they were marooned there, all right? Dad, I know you're upset about Kelly, but don't start yelling at me without telling me what is going on. Okay. Between the two of us. Okay. Tori Lane is pregnant. That's... She's pregnant? That's right. And that is what is going on. Now, do you understand why I'm asking you that? You do know something, don't you? So why don't you just tell me it's important to Eden. It's important to the whole family. Dad, I don't want to see Eden get hurt. I don't either, son. I'm trying to protect her so she doesn't get hurt. I have to have all the facts for Eden's sake. Uh, they were there, Cruz and Victoria, at the lighthouse. They were, you know, very close. How close? Very. Don't be evasive with the intimate or what? Yes. Who are you and what are you doing here? Who am I? Who am I, my dear man? I happen to be Cecile Heppelwhite. Heppel what? Heppelwhite. Now, I'm certain the curators have notified you that I would be here today. No, father, nobody notified me of anything. The, the museum's supposed to be closed today. Well, this is highly irregular. I, I have a great deal of work to do here today, and I do not have time to stand around talking to you. Now, look here, Miss Heppelwhite. Heppelwhite! Uh, is this gentleman interrupting you, Miss Heppelwhite? Malcolm! Thank goodness you're here. This is my colleague, Malcolm Sheridan. I was just explaining to this gentleman uh, that we've got a great deal of work to do here today about the collection. Uh, I didn't know anything about uh, it. What is your name, my good man? Denkins. Uh, Henry Denkins. Uh, is that D-I-N or D-E-N? Uh, D-I-N. Uh, I wasn't trying to cause any trouble. I was certain that they notified everyone in the museum today. Yes, uh, so well, he's certainly aware of the magnitude of our study, and that even the slightest interruption can cost this museum thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars. Exactly. So you see, my good man, you're costing your superiors a great deal of cash. Well, I didn't mean to do that. I'm just trying to do my job. Mm. I mean, uh, there was a murderer in here yesterday, and they brought me on extra uh, just to make certain that nothing was going wrong. Well, I suggest you make certain somewhere else, Miss Dink. You bet I will, miss. And uh, I hope you don't feel that you have to mention this to my boss. Mm. Oh, you said it. Did you get anything to eat? Oh, there's too many people prowling around out there. The museum is closed. I told you that. Yeah, but it's still full of people, including the district attorney. What? Mason, my brother? No, no, no. A strange little man with, with the nastiest gleam in his eye. At least they called him the district attorney. Keith Timmons? Yeah, the Timmons. That's him. Why there. would Keith Timmons be here? Well, I'll give you two guesses. Me? Right, first time. Oh. Who else is out there? The police? No, no, but from what I could gather, they're planning some kind of charity dance or something. Well, the masquerade ball is usually held around this time of year. Well, do they have an auction? Yeah, they auction off paintings. Yeah, well, that's it then. You know, my mother was in charge of the auction last year. Yeah, well, I think we best lie low for a while. She's out there, isn't she? I have to go see No, her. no, no, no. I'm going to go see my mother. You're not going anywhere. Let me go! Go of me. Don't be a fool. You can't go to that gallery now. You're not going to stop me, Jeffrey. Oh, look, Timmons is still there, and I use your head. You can't go in there until he leaves. Yeah, and what if my mother leaves first? Well, there's nothing we can do about that. But if you walk out there now, it's as good as walking into a jail cell. Don't you understand? She's so close. Let me just yeah, go see her. I understand. I understand. But I also understand that you're in a great deal of danger. And if you don't start thinking with your head instead of your heart, there's nothing I can do for you. All right, you're right. I know I can't go. I don't know what I'm thinking anymore. Hey, look. Look, we'll get you back with your family. You'll see. And Jeffrey, thanks for stopping me. And while I'm at it, thanks for everything you've done. Yeah, well, look, look, um, there was some coffee set up out there, and I, you know, I think I saw some scones. Look, why don't I see if I can rustle some up for us, huh? Only if you promise me you'll stay here while I'm gone. I promise. Okay. Back as soon as I can. It's amazing how generous people can be. I think people are starting to realize how serious the homeless issue is. Victoria, don't lift that, I will. 
public lockridge. I mean, if you insist, I can get a court order commanding you to look over the guest list. That's what you want. Mr. Timmons. Hmm? This is a major event for a very worthy cause. You're not going to turn it into one of your Keystone Cops routines. I intend to fulfill my obligation to the people of Santa Barbara, that's all. Oh, do you? And does that include harassing innocent people? What innocent people are you referring to? Huh? I don't know you. But you know something? I consider Julia a very good judge of character. And she thinks you're the lowest of the low. Well, no, she couldn't. Huh? She refused to go out with me. <laughs> <laughs> That's sharp. That's sharp. I tell you something. What? Well, Any complaints that arise against you, I'm going to pursue fully. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to be watching you, too. You know, you got the hots for Sophia. I think she could get you to help Kelly. Do you know what the penalty is for aiding and abetting a fugitive? Man? I think the ice is helping some. The swung's gone down. Yeah. Um, I think I can walk on it now. Well, sure. Now I gotta get home. Oh, wait a minute. What's wrong? I, I had a comb in my hair, and I know I had it when we came in here. I lost it. Well, it's gotta be around here somewhere. This is not my day. Well, it's still early. Great. That means it can get worse. Or better. Yep. Rise like a hawk. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Still got a piece of straw in your hair. Probably all throughout my hair. Well, look who's here. Oh, Ted. Um, I, I, I just lost my comb. Jake was helping me find it. Yeah. And right now I got to get out there and run that stallion. You know, Capwell, since you took that time off, I didn't realize how much work you've been doing around here. So I suppose you're just uh, hanging out here looking for me, then. What does that mean? Well, it just seems like you're spending a lot of time around here. I don't like what you're thinking. Neither do I. I have not been working here for two days, and you know that. But you're hanging out here with good old Jake. Did you come here to check up on me? No, I, in fact, I didn't even know you were here. But now I certainly think you owe me an explanation. I, I came here because I thought I had left something the other day. So I came to see if I had. What? Well, I was wrong. I mean, I didn't leave anything. I mean, what wasn't here? Damn it, Haley. You are my wife, okay? Now, I want to find out why you have to keep coming up with these excuses to, to, to come here when I'm not around. I have been coming here, Ted Keppel, because... Jake has been giving me writing lessons to surprise you. I mean, your whole family's into writing. I thought I could do it to fit in. Well, obviously I was wrong. What a stupid idea I had. <sighs> no, Haley, I am... It wasn't wrong with you. I, I was stupid to doubt you. <sighs> the only thing is, though, you've been doing that a lot lately. Why? Why is that, Ted? Do you intend to tell me why I've been summoned here, or am I supposed to guess? Victoria Lane. I know she's pregnant, Mason. And how did you come by that bit of information? That's not important. I also know that Cruz and Victoria slept together at the Channel Islands when they were stranded there. Well, you're just full of unsavory information, aren't you? I'm still wondering how you found out she was pregnant. I know she didn't tell anybody else. There's no way that you could... I told you. It's not important. It was you, wasn't it? You hired some thug to break into her apartment and go through her things. Her hospital bill, that's how you found now, out. Now, you listen to me. You smug, self-righteous, un... You watch your mouth, Mason! No, you watch it. Yeah, Victoria's pregnant. 
It's also a difficult pregnancy. The last thing she needed was somebody scaring her half out of her wits by breaking in and ransacking her apartment. I don't know why I should be surprised that you tried this sort of thing, but I guess I am. I am just protecting my family as the always. The only thing you care about is protecting your ego. And obviously Victoria stepped on that when she had the audacity to come over here and give you a piece of her mind. Look, I don't give a damn about Victoria Lane. But I do give a damn about Eden and what she's going to do when she finds out the baby is Cruz's. Do you understand? You don't know that it is. Sonny boy, it doesn't take a genius to count nine months from the time the Victoria and Cruz were stranded in that lighthouse, does it? You can be a very crude and ignorant man. And the fact that you do this to somebody I care about makes me ashamed to call you my father. Mason, do you realize what that baby is going oh, to... Oh, you know, the baby could be mine. So I'd advise you to stay away from her. I'm sorry. I didn't come over here to just pick a fight. I've got to apologize about something before it Wait, gets out of hand. Apologize for what? Well, you remember when we saw Cruz and Victoria, the lighthouse? Yes. I thought we weren't going to discuss that we anymore, weren't. Ted. I know, and I promised you I wouldn't say anything about it. You told somebody? My dad guessed that they were together. Victoria is now pregnant, and Eden is, is going to be in for a shocker. My dad's really worried about this. You know, I only told you because I thought you could keep this to yourself. But see, now that's it. I did not say anything about it. He guessed. I mean, so the important thing is here is Eden. All now, I don't see just... is that this family is more important to you than me and always will be. Hey, that is not true. It is true. I can't compete with that anymore, Ted. I won't compete with that. Well, I talked to Ted, and uh, there's every reason to believe that uh, Victoria is carrying Cruz's baby. What does every reason mean? I think you should talk to Mason. Oh, I talked to Mason. And does he think that Cruz is the father? Well, he's not going to tell me, darling, but uh, I think he's pretty sure. Oh, well, I can understand the way you've been treating him lately, why he wouldn't cooperate. Or he's protecting Victoria. Uh... How the hell would he protect that woman against his own sister? What's wrong? I don't know where to start. I'm angry and ashamed. Ashamed of what? Victoria, my father was responsible for the break-in here. I'm certain of it. Your father? Why? Well, I'm not sure. But he knows that you're pregnant. Oh, my God. The hospital bill? Yeah. Why would your father come after me like that? In his demented mind, he sees it as protecting Eden. He told you this? Well, he, he didn't come right out and say that he'd had your place broken into, but he's figured out that you're pregnant. He's also concluded that Cruz is the father. Well, uh, <clears throat> that explains... Sophia, he must have talked to her. Well, what did you say? Well, I confirmed the pregnancy, but nothing beyond that. Well, if he's gone out of his way to have somebody break in here, he hasn't stopped then, has he? No. He's probably trying to reach Eden right now to tell her all about this. No, I don't think he'll do that. He's capable of some pretty underhanded things, but Eden, he treats as though she were porcelain. He wouldn't do or allow anything to be done that would hurt her. I don't want Eden to know because she's going to tell Cruz. You know, your father probably thinks that I want Cruz back, but I don't. I swear it. I know that. Do you really believe me? Of course I do. Her. Yeah, and had a nice 30-second reunion until the district attorney managed to get the cuffs My on you. parents would have thought of something. Oh, you know, if you think that, you certainly have a glorified view of your family. And why shouldn't I? 
They've done everything in their power to help me. Exactly. And what has it amounted to? You know, what do you know about my family? There's a lot more to them, Jeffrey, than what you see in the rearview mirror. I know a lot more than you think I do. What is it you know about them? Why are you so intrigued with my family anyway? Intrigued? I don't know what you're talking about. I think it boils down to my father's money. That's what it is. It's the only thing you know about them and the only thing you care about. This big bonus you've been talking about getting once you deliver me. You are the most exasperating, infuriating, and stubborn woman I've ever met. I don't know why I'm trying to help you. Because of the money. The money, huh? A fat lot of good that'll be if I have to go to jail for aiding and abetting a fugitive. Oh, well then stop aiding and abetting me. No one's asking you to hang around here. In fact, I'd be a lot better off alone. Oh, yeah? And while you're at it, why don't you add ungrateful to your list of alluring qualities? At least I'm not pompous like you. You know, I'll consider myself lucky if I never have to listen to one of your lectures again. Ted, you broke a promise. I, I know. Uh-uh. I just confirmed what he'd already suspected. Now, come on. I told you I am sorry. You can't keep breaking promises to me for your family and then assume everything will be all right when you say, I'm sorry. Hey, have you two decided what you're going to wear to the masquerade ball yet? I don't think we're going, Jim. What do you mean? The whole Capwell family's going to be there. Oh, good. Then Ted will have a great time without me. Yeah, I'll be upstairs. What's the matter now? Did you have another little lover's spat? Look, I'm sure you can patch things up if you try before the ball. These are things that can't be patched up. Can't be that bad. Come on. I'll help. No one can help, Gina. Ted has made it perfectly clear that his family comes first, and I am lucky if I'm even a distant second. Are you just realizing that? I have worked so hard to make this marriage work. Look, it's one thing to try to make your marriage work. It's another thing to think that any Kappa is going to put anyone else before another full-blooded cap. Well, blood runs thicker than water, Haley, and these people run as thick as thieves. They'll do anything, and I mean anything, for another member of their clan. Hey, they'd try to knock me off in a minute if they thought they could get away with it. Yeah, right, but I can't deal with that. Of course you can. All you have to do is play as down and dirty as they do. And I'm the perfect one to teach you. Gina, you have played every down and dirty trick you can think of, and it's not paying off. Oh, no? Paying off pretty good right now. I'm not talking about the money. I am. That's the only thing this family is good for. You gotta reach out and grab for the gold when you deal with the Capwells. Get whatever you can, Haley. Because I'll tell you what they'll do. They'll make sure that you're left out of the cold with nothing. I wasn't too sure that I would be. No kidding? Huh. No flashlights, no four plans. You can't have any. Just go up here. Just go upstairs. Uh, it's up there. You can put the cat over there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. What? Excuse me. What's this room? This is where they restore stuff they brought in from other countries. Smile when you laugh. <laughs> it's amazing what this stuff is worth, isn't it? It smells like pepperoni in here. Well, Kelly Capwell is anywhere near the building. We're going to nail it. Come on. Sorry. 
forgot that the last thing you want is to be close to anybody. Oh, it's got nothing to do with that. What is it then? Me? No. Oh. Oh, it's the pizza. I bought you a piece and, uh... Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm wearing it. Where in the world did you get this? Believe me, you don't want to know. <laughs> I'll eat it anyway. Yeah, you can't be very sweet. I'm top. Stay tuned. Coming up is your chance to win cash on Channel 2's Watch Magnum and Win 2. When we ask you the Magnum Trivia question, be the correct caller with the correct answer and win $200. Channel 2's Watch Magnum and Win 2, next.